In this video, we will be discussing about the overview of mRNA processing in eukaryotes. In the mRNA processing, we see the nascent mRNA which is being transcribed is simultaneously processed in which some additional molecular structures are added and some sequences are removed from the structure of pre-mRNA so that we ultimately get the mature mRNA which later on can be used in the translation process. First of all, we see we have DNA molecule and from this DNA molecule we get mRNA molecule through the process of transcription. And the first event that takes place is the mRNA capping. It must be noted that mRNA capping is co-transcriptional process. That means mRNA capping occurs during the process of transcription. The mRNA capping occurs just after the initiation process. The 5' prime end of mRNA is capped by M7G, that is the 7-methyl gonosine cap, shown in the diagram. So, in mRNA processing, the first step is the 5' prime capping. After that, we get the primary transcript of mRNA from transcription process. And in this mRNA molecule, we have a poly A tail, where cleavage takes place. Here in this animation, we can see how cleavage takes place at poly A tail. We see it is by the aid of, it is by the help of some factors like CSTF and CPSF factors which bind at the poly A tail and drive the process of cleavage. Then to the tail end of mRNA molecule, PAP enzyme comes in and synthesizes long stretch of adenine nucleotides, what we call as polyadenylation of mRNA. So the second event of mRNA processing is the polyadenylation of mRNA tail. Furthermore, this mRNA molecule is processed by a process of RNA splicing. We see here in the diagram we have a mRNA molecule. It has got a 5' prime cap in the first step. It has gone through polyadenylation process at 3' prime end also. Now the next event is RNA splicing. We see there are different sequences in mRNA molecule. Like we have exons and introns as shown in the diagram. The exons are kept and introns are to be removed. Since introns are non coding sequences, whereas exons are coding sequences. So, before getting into the translational process, we have to remove these introns. And this is done by the RNA splicing, where introns are removed by enzymatic action by some complex proteins in the form of spliceosomes. Here we see in the animation the spliceosome acts on pre mRNA molecule and removes the introns, and ultimately we get the final product in the form of mature mRNA molecule having exons only. So now we have mRNA molecule that's mature mRNA molecule in the nucleus. From nucleus it is transported to the cytoplasm where it can lead into the process of translation. So this concludes the overview of mRNA processing. The detailed mechanism for each event will be discussed in the separate video. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.